Hi. What you doing here? You gonna answer me? Fine. Whatever. Be a prick. So much for good first impressions. Eh, whatever. My name is Echo. It's a name, you know? Something us normal folks have. I'm assuming you got one of those, right? Well, do ya? Well, didn't your mama drop you as a child? Speak up! Speak up! <sighs> Fine. Okay, I'm gonna call you Dick, because that's what you're being right now. Uh, so, Dick, don't you think it's a little funny that um, <clears throat> we're just two guys who don't know each other and we just somehow happen to be in the exact same house at the same time? What kind of coincident bullcrap is that? So, so what brought you here? Still silent, huh? Well, I'm here because of the frickin' storm. I haven't seen a snowstorm this bad since 2002. So, come on, say something, man. You know, I freaking hate being ignored. It pisses me off. So why don't you stop acting like a retard and actually talk to me with your tongue? Oh, so you are in a stiff. The statue moves. Okay, now you gotta tell me your name. Dick. What the hell did you just... Oh, oh, your name's actually Dick. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> oh. Well, oh, that's a relief. That was like a... Your name's actually Dick, huh? That was like a one in a million shot. Oh. <laughs> so, how's it feel like not to be strangers anymore, Dick? It's fine. Good, good, good. Now let's do the nice to meet you for one day and never see each other again handshake. There we go. Now, I'm starved. Let's go get something to eat. Okay. Come on, let's go make some grandma's delight. Now that's what I'm talking about. You know, this might give us a mudslide down the south end of the tunnel, but it's better than eating each other. By the way, did you find anything? Well, it's not like we're gonna be here like four days. Well, I'm gonna go eat some of this. Uh, you want a candy look storm in the death, Dick? No, thanks. All right, well, I'm gonna go eat these. I still gotta eat. I need a light. I'm not Stevie freaking Wonder. It'll be a minute. Whatever. I found a better light. Listen, sorry about that. I, I know you're a little uptight, but why don't we just go sit down, relax, maybe have a bite to eat, maybe, you know, 
talk about our lives, get to know each other a bit more, stop being, you know, total strangers. Maybe even talk about our past lovers. Come on, come on. So, let's start things off easy. You got any family? So, uh, got any friends? Got a sex kitten? <laughs> <sighs> you don't get it. <sighs> Those were the good old days. That's true love right there. That doesn't sound like love to me. And what is it to you? Well, to me, love is when a man or a woman love each other so much that they would put each other's lives on the line What for is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. This is the most you've opened your mouth all freaking night, and you sound like a Nicholas Sparks book. Are you done? Would you like me to finish my statement, or would you rather keep on with your shenanigans right now? Until I laugh again, then yeah. Okay. If you only have intercourse with a woman just on the basis of sex and not love, then what's the point? I mean, if you're not... <laughs> You sound more hollow than your basic chick. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, man, have you ever thought of being a comedian? You're freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can tell we're going to have a lot of fun here until we can get out of this dang place. Am I right? You know, I don't think you've ever, ever been in love before. What the hell did you just say to me? If you had been, you wouldn't be talking or thinking like this, Echo. You just wouldn't be. What makes you so special? Who was that broad you were going to mention to me? That broad was named Anna, and she was one of the best friends I could ever be blessed to have, but it's not worth explaining to someone like you, because you wouldn't understand. Why are you talking like this hussy is dead? She isn't dead. Hmm. Well, anyway, I have another story about this real fine French woman no, I found. Hang on. No offense to cancel this great story, but I I would really like to get some rest. Rain check, then? Sure, rain check. Okay. Well, <clears throat> you know, if the storm clears out tomorrow, I could take you to some really nice um, uh, homeless shelters. Damn fine homeless shelters. Um, <clears throat> when the storm clears up, Nice. Do that. Okay. Go to bed? Yeah. I'll go to bed. Sounds like the best thing you've said all night. <clears throat> no. Yeah, well, at least I'll have that story. Keep yeah. me company at night. You'll have that story, all right. Echo? Echo? Echo! Echo! Where are you?
Ah! Oh, stop! 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 What the hell? <laughs> Wake up! What is it? What is it? We're stuck in this freaking house! Is the, is the storm... It has nothing to do with the storm! Echo, I'm afraid I just don't Just understand. shut up! Just shut up and look out here! I, I, I'm afraid I don't understand. I mean, if anything, this is a good thing. The storm must have washed away last night. You don't understand, you sack of fuzz. Come over here, step out yourself, see the issue. You have to... You have to feel it to believe it. You see what I mean? That food last night. It must have been spiked! I'm telling you, it must have been spiked! This stuff just doesn't happen! Damn it! What the hell do we do? What, what do we do? We're trapped in this house. Trapped in this freaking house! How long has this been happening for? So I just... I got up to get some fresh air. I tried to walk out the door and then I just teleported right to where I was standing. Did you try the windows? What do I look like, a retard? Yes, I tried the freaking window! Calm down. Can you give me a, a, a couch pillow, please? Why the hell would I give you a couch pillow? Can't. Just trust me on this one, please. I need the pillow. Fine. Take it. Like, what were you expecting there? I was going to see if it would come back, and it well, did not. Well, clearly it didn't come back! Could, like, only unlivable pieces of furniture leave the house? Calm down, you're starting to stutter. I know I'm starting to stutter! And I don't freaking care! I just want to get out of this freaking house! I understand. We have a phone. Does this place have a phone? No, I don't have a phone. Did you even check if you had a phone? I think if there was a phone, we would have found it by now, Echo. Damn it! Damn it! You need to calm down. How? Why should I be calm? We're stuck in the damn house! How can I be calm? How? How can I be calm? How can I be calm? Just, just explain that to me. How can I be calm? <sighs> calm down, I'm just gonna have a look around. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, but we gotta go get breakfast. We ain't checking out today. I'm sorry, I just do not know how you can be hungry in a time like this. 
My motto is roll with the punches. I'm bored. Let's talk. What's the matter, dick? Can't function like a normal human being? I'm just careful with my words, Echo. And I only speak when I feel necessary. Unlike you. I don't really care. I'll tell my whole friggin' life story. And yours is not a thing you do about, pal. You should be a lot more careful. Your mouth will get you in a lot of trouble one day. Like mine did. Ooh, sounds like a juicy story. It's not the one I want to hear right now. I want to hear more about this Anna chick. There's nothing to discuss. BS. I want to know everything. Tell me everything. What are you, a 16-year-old girl? Maybe. Come on, spill it. No, it's not. Tell me. No, it's not your place to know about it. Now, please. It sure is my place to know. Don't ask about it again. Yeah, Echo. no. Stop. No. Tell me about her. Stop. Tell me everything. No! Wow. My god, she ditched you for another guy, I bet his name was Chad. Tell me, what was his foot sign? Now, you talk about her again and I will do something regrettable! When we get out of here, I'm gonna find out. Let's just say, when I'm done with her, you won't recognize her style anymore. <laughs> Why did you hold back? Did you mean what you said? No, not really. He's a secret dick. You better keep it. My bark is louder than my bite. I was just trying to get a rise out of you. Don't talk about Anna ever again. Sure. I'll try. Hold this for me. So, I bet there's going to be no chance you're going to tell me what happened to Anna? No. Fair enough. I won't be such a jack-off anymore. We are stuck in this house for God knows how long. Thank you. How much food do we got to last anyway? Uh, for a little while, I'd say. Um... We should probably start stacking it up and saving it. That's what I would recommend. Good idea. Oh yeah, that reminds me. What? What? I found something in the covers while you were sleeping. What do you think? I think that's a terrible idea. Put your head on my shoulder. Hold me in your arms, baby. Won't you squeeze me once, baby? 
Tell me that you love me too People say Love's a game A game you just can't win Woman's man. No time to talk. And the music loud. The music loud. Saying the vibe been kicked. I'm here. Since I was born, and that was time. I'm here. We can see another day. We can see woman's man. Woman's man. Another day. 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 Woman's man. Oh. Music, oh. Clown. Oh. Music, oh. Clown. Oh. music clown! Music clown! Oh. Music jeez. clown! Music 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 clown! Yeah, you're right! Music clown! <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Stay alive. 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 Stay California and Hollywood. Echo, I got a heavy confession. Echo. What? A confession. Say it. I lied about my god Pardicka name. What's your name then? It's not Dick. Have some enthusiasm. Okay. It's not Dick. Dick, it's Harper. Harper, like, Harper. And like the thing the angels play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw. Oh God! You called me Dick earlier, and I because guess you it, are a dick. I'll try to be a dick. I'm socially awkward. <laughs> I'm socially awkward. Socially awkward. That's not mine. <coughs> Problem. <laughs> Not my problem, ah. Dick. Harper. It's Harper now, man. Name is. You know, you're a good friend. You're like the best friend I ever had. I am? Best friend, yeah. Aww. My best friend. Only friend I've ever had <laughs> since Anna. But we're not going to talk about that. Guys. That's fine. If you don't want to talk about it, you don't have uh, to. I think I'm going off to Dreamland. I'm going to meet the Care Bears. Go fudge them, then.
Listen, don't do that harp. What? The walls. They're breathing. The walls are breathing. What the hell are you talking about? The walls. They're breathing. How did you know my name? Big picture, you dumb bastard. Don't you understand? <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> did you... Ah! Don't you know my name? You told me last night when we were drunk. Son of a you son of a The walls. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't you ever. The walls aren't breathing. Do that again. It's just from you getting drunk. Drunk I'm last night. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. So you're saying things I've seen can't be explained? Can't be explained. You know what? I can't take this anymore! Damn it! In this door, and I am not gonna teleport out of here. I'm all going right. to walk out the door, and it's all going to be normal. Okay, whatever you say. I'm getting out of here, you'll see. Can I leave? I want to leave too. It makes no sense. Why? Why I can't? It's illogical. There's no logic in this. Why can't we stay? Why do I keep coming back inside? Hey. Am I subconsciously doing it? No, calm down. Why calm can't down. I just go outside? Calm Why down. do I keep teleporting inside? Is it what? I don't, calm down. Don't hit me again. Sorry. Calm down. Don't hit me again. Calm down. Don't hit me again. Don't hit me again. Just hey. You can do anything you want to I'll, me. I'll, I'll tell you something that will make you feel better. How about a hug? What are you doing? It's okay, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> what the <laughs> heck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> don't touch me again! I don't touch you. <laughs> Do whatever you No touching! Okay. No touching! You treat all your family this way? You slap your mama! Hey, you know what might help? Some good old bourbon. Ah, uh, here's to the eighth cup of the day, night, whatever, my friend. This isn't our eighth, this is our fourteenth. Two eights and one, baby. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to. <clears throat> you just stuff tastes it starts to taste really bad. <clears throat> I noticed. Let me can I see yours? Like yes, come here, yes. come here, look. Look what's in there. <laughs> oh you <laughs> mother trucker! <laughs> <laughs> in the carpet, man. <laughs> Ants in your pants. I hope not. <laughs> man. Yeah. How will I know if I'm really in love? And the Lord proclaimed, let Why there the be on? light! Why is the light on? So out of all the things that happened today, this is what you question? 
I don't, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just odd. I, I get it's odd, but seriously. <clears throat> Should I touch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and touch it. Ah! Does it sting? No, I didn't feel a dang thing <laughs> from the dang light. Yeah. I didn't feel a dang thing from the dang light. But if you feel it, it kind of feels like what you, something you'd like to feel a lot. Balls. <laughs> That's by the way. Harp. Guess what? What? These dudes are packing. <laughs> you gotta watch these. The first uh, horror film. You do not know what this is. Did they use a real human skeleton for that? No, it's a plastic one with strings attached to it to make it look like it's walking. So you think it couldn't get more grotesque? Wonderful. Wonderful. Great. Special effects on this are like it's magnificent. Fuck you too. I've never seen anything like it. Who wrote this? Some name bizarre person with a disturbed mind wrote this film, and I did not enjoy it. Echo, what movie is this? Echo. Echo. <laughs> Echo! What? Where did you go? I didn't go anywhere. Dude, man. What? Did you not just see what was on the TV? There's nothing on the TV. Oh. The fourth movie was... You didn't see any... any the movies, remember? Nope. We didn't watch a fourth. It took place in this house. There was a movie that was put on that took place in this house. And it had me sitting on the couch right here. No. Am I going crazy? Is it the alcohol finally starting to get into my system? Hark. We didn't watch a fourth movie. Whatever. Okay. For the past few days... I've come up with something that will, I think is going to help us. This. What is that? In this booklet, I've been writing down my estimate of every day we've been here. Okay. I know I probably sound like a raving lunatic right now, but I've estimated that we have been here for about four days. You were out for two and a half days. You are drunk like a mother. What? You what? seriously haven't drank from the bottle before. Did you... Did... The speak. Two and a half days. Two and a half days. Two and a half days. Month. Did you try to get out in this process of time? I was out. No, we tried everything. We have not tried everything. There's the locked door. Remember over there, that back door. Yeah, it's locked. There's nothing I could do. We'll figure out a way to get in. Okay. 
We'll figure out a way. There's no- great. It started raining. Okay, look. When I first got in through the back door, I saw an axe on a shelf. I almost ran into the damn thing. Okay. It- back door. Did we try the back door? Not to my recollection. What is that? What's it look like to you, you moron? Sorry. It's a hatchet. <laughs> okay, you first. You're the one who, uh. Okay. Let go of me! How did you know I came back here? Figured because I came through that door and you came through here. How the hell were you all supposed to get in here through the fudging window? Look at that. What? Just keep looking at that. Look at the room. Just don't look at it. Don't you notice the pattern on it? No. Never mind. I'll, uh, I'll leave then. I will open the door, and hopefully we can get out of this hellhole. Why won't that dog just be quiet? If we can get out of here, we can finally, like, choke him to death. Nothing more that I want to do than kick the crap out of that dog. Well, what's the dog's fault? <laughs> Shut up, and you're annoying enough. Where'd that dog even come from? I don't know. The poor thing's probably been locked up by its miserable bastard owners. Anyway. Yeah, what are first. you doing? What the- You do it because there's something not right with you. I've known it from the start. First, you know who Mrs. Carla is. Then, you know my name. You said Mrs. Carla's phrase when you went to give me a hug earlier. How about a hug? How about a hug? That's her phrase. Who are you? What the hell is wrong with you? First off, who the hell is Mrs. Carla? Is she some sort of sexual partner of yours? You know what? I don't give a crap! I just want to get the hell out of this house! Away from you! Away from everyone! Got it! You know what I think? I have a new motivation to get the hell out of here. One, to get away from you. And two, to butcher that dog. With this axe! That'll make me feel great. But... How do you expect to get out of here? That locked door. The Why door. do you think we could get out of there? It's just another room with a window. Because we haven't tried it yet. It's the only thing we haven't tried. We can't get in. There's no key. I, I, it's, I'm running out of ideas. I'm at the end of my rope, man. What makes you think it's not just another one of those rooms? There's no escape from this place. We're trapped. Is it that? Will it kill us to find out? Maybe it is another one of those rooms. You're such but, a clown. Such a clown heart. Don't ever call me a clown again. Do not say that word around me. Okay? I mean it. Now let's go check out that room, okay? We're not going to break it down with the axe, so don't even bother. Reason why? Because there's something wrong with this house. I don't want to anger it. It's keeping us here for a good reason. By all means, you try it. And we just got to find out why. Maybe that's how to get out of here. It's all one big puzzle. And that's all there is to it. Just gotta solve the puzzle, I guess. That dog. Let's go check out that room, man. Let's go. I know the exit's here, I know it. 
No. Maybe you could let me jimmy the lock. Yeah. Or just totally ignore me. Stop! <laughs> it burns like hell. What did you do? What did you do? Jimmy the lock and it burned. It burned, huh? <sighs> Fuck. So we can't jimmy the lock. No. We can't open the door. No. We can't get in. Maybe if we use the axe, we could get in. Won't let us jimmy the lock. Why would it let? Why would? It... Why would she let us in? She? Harp, you're talking. You're talking crazy here. I just want to leave. I just want to get out of here. Out of her innards. Eight days. What are you right? talking about? Eight days. Eight days. It's been eight days, I think. So what this thing? I think it's making any sense. Makes no sense. It says eight days. I thought it said five. There's no way we've been here eight days. Maybe we have. We don't have any way to tell the time. This house is getting me tired. Eight days. It's full of crap, all of it is. Life spinning around like a carousel, Echo. One big carousel. Just spinning round and round and round. No beginning, no end. A constant spin. That's what she has enchanted on us. Echo, where'd you go, pal? Like a carousel. Like a carousel. Spinning around. Man, this place has me tired. It's just like I can fall. Echo, why are all the lights off? Echo. Three cans? Are you kidding me? Three cans? Where the... Where are the cans, you gluttonous pig? What are you yelling about? The cans are gone! There's three left! We had several! What are they? Did you eat all of them? No. I was... I was just taking a dump. What, what do you want to see? My backside masterpiece? Huh? The, 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 the cans! So, I got a little bit hungry. Sue me. We're all gonna starve and die! Well, We're dead. It'll be, it'll be you before me. Okay, look, man. We've only been here for... From what I've been writing down is right. month. What do you think was gonna happen? You know what? To hell with this, I'm through! You know what, Echo? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill myself and take the one life God has granted me because it's nothing but a complete waste. 
No, don't do that. You have so much to live for. <laughs> so much to live for. Where did it all go, my friend? Out the window. for this one, you're good for nothing. Wasted Oh, finally. Sleeping Beauty arises from her sleep. Tell me this wasn't the last can. What makes you say that? Because all the other cans on the table are gone. Oh yeah, I put those away. The filled ones? Yeah. Thank God. If you kiss me, I'm gonna kill myself. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> I wanna tell you a story, it's a funny one. Just... Why can't you leave me alone? I oh. wanna die! <laughs> this one ain't gonna kill ya. If you just listen, it ain't gonna Does kill ya. Does it have ya. anything to do with a French woman? Are you kissing her? No. Thank God. All right, so I was with this girl in high school, and we, uh, <clears throat> what do we do? Do you have a single story that's not about fornicating with women? No. What, what else is there to talk about? You can talk about so many different things other than you having fornication with fake women. <sighs> There's so many things you can talk about, like Rubik's Cubes, toothpaste, tractors, Screw conductor. You, Screw you hard! I had a child, which Screw means I must me have hard. had sex at some point. I doubt it. You seem like an insecure incel virgin. I'm not a virgin! I'm a f I am didn't take you for a father type. I wasn't. My boy Michael was killed in a hit and run. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I, I, I'm not trying to insult you or anything. I didn't take you for one to... Even have a son or even be capable of showing any signs of compassion towards anyone. Or maybe that's why he got hit in a hit and run. Because he didn't have a father there to guide him. Okay? Is that why? Yeah. You probably figured I'm not a great guy and you're right. I was a lowlife thug who, who robbed people while wearing a mask in the early 2000s. You most likely wouldn't have heard about me because I was in California at the time. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of Halloween mask did you wear? Just some Halloween mask, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, Halloween mask, huh? Being all honest to God, I was proud of my work. Still am. I only have one regret in my life, and that's the fact that in a shootout, I killed a child. Shot in the face and blew half his head off. His mother ran at me, and sh I shot her too, killing her. It wasn't until later I realized that she was the nanny uh, my, gra my girlfriend hired to watch Michael. Who, because there was, so there was no nanny, he went out to play in the street. When I got home, I found his body in pieces all over the road. Lived in the middle of nowhere so no one saw it. So, uh, where was your girlfriend? Out at a women's church conference. I was supposed to be at the men's one, but I decided I'd rather be doing something I love. After that, I just didn't care about anything. I just stole from who I wanted to, killed who I wanted to, and banged who I wanted to. I have no idea why I'm telling you this. It doesn't make me feel better. No. Tell me about that Anna chick. You better not have given me that entire sob story about your son Michael just for me to get all mushy inside so I would ex tell you my whole thing with Anna. I may or may have not. You really are a bastard. You don't even have a son named Michael, do you? I may or may not. Tell me, did you and Anna have sexual intercourse? No, we never had... 
We never did anything. We were both, we were brought up by religious households, okay? I didn't want, no, I thought I was going to send her to hell. If I did anything before marriage. People of religion should go to hell. What, we, what, what? we should be free to fornicate whenever we want. No, 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 no. Who, who, who gives you the right to decide who's damned and who's not? What makes you so righteous to be in that position? Why do you put yourself in such high regard? You're nothing. You're a street piece of garbage. You're gutter trash. You mean nothing to anyone. I already kind of put together your whole family's fake. You might as well be like, you might as well not exist. You Where's might- your family? Saying I don't have a family, what about yours? Do you ever have a family? I, 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 I. We're not talking about me, we are talking about you. No, no, friend. no, I brung it up. We're talking. We're talking about both of us. Now, I We're told talking you, about you. I not told me. you plenty we are about different me. People. Now you tell me about you! I don't have... The only family I have was Anna, okay? That's it. I don't know. Uh, my parents... What might... happened to her? Did she die? Did she get raped? What happened? What makes you not want to Just talk about stop her? stop talking to me, please. No. Tell me about Why this Anna Why can't you just fade away into nothingness? Why can't you just fade away into nothingness? Where I'll be better and I don't want to fudging kill myself. Oh... Tell me about this Anna chick, or I will not stop bugging you about it until you finally do. Oh, now you're crying. What a little pussy you are. You want to know why I'm like this? Why? Well, I'm going to tell you if you like it or not, pal. Truth be told, I had parents that slept in separate rooms, never showed any affection towards me or them or each other. So they sent me off to a Catholic school. And that's where everything bad happened. There was this teacher named Mrs. Carla. She told me to stay after class one day. And, uh, when I uh, came back from when the class was over, my teacher came in wearing a, nothing but a big black robe. She took advantage of me. Her husband was dead and did something to, uh, unleash her feelings on. I was only 11. Wow. That is not the teacher student romantic story I was expecting. (laughs) Oh, Oh, anyway. Still tell me about this Anna chick. I, I... I can't believe you. After what I told you, you're just... That's all you care about. Yeah. Well, if you're wondering, Anna's with the good Lord now. Wait, wait. You you said she wasn't dead. She's not dead spiritually, but she sure is dead physically. She was a good person. I know you're not religious, but she believed in the good Lord, so I know where she's at. She's in a good place, and I... Hope I'll see her one get one day. Not to be any more personal than I already am, but how did she die? She was raped and murdered. On the spot. Uh, guy pulled up in a car, came out with a gun, wearing a Halloween clown mask. Shot her. And she was gone. Taken out of the world as fast as she was taken in. Or put in. I don't know. All happened directly one month ago. Feels like an eternity. Where did this take place? California. Why? 
Never mind. We should get some sleep. Good night, Harp. Echo? Echo! Yeah! I'm really hungry, man. Can you throw me a can, please? Can't you get one, like, later? What? Well, Echo, I'd like to have one now because I am starving to death. Okay. I'll just be honest with you. I ate the last one. Are you serious right now? I can't believe you would eat all the cans. We're all gonna starve to death and die. As serious as can me. <laughs> if you're hungry, just eat all the rats. There are plenty of them. There are plenty of them inside of that bath. Are you saying all the food is gone? Why? Does that mean we're going to starve to death and die now, huh? You gluttonous pig! Oh, it's beating me up! Gonna stop! It's beating me up! Gonna solve anything! What the fuck are you doing? Go! Ow! What was that? I just like to foggle around with people's blood, you know? It's something I really like to do. Ugh, I can't help myself. I like doing things for no rhyme or reason. <laughs> Was that food? This is what I took a bite out of. Note to self, never bite out of a Christmas tree ornament. Ugh. We got it, Marie Antoinette. I'm confused. What's beating me up gonna solve? You. You're not gonna make me eat no rodents. I already have, it really isn't that bad. You're crazy. I'm crazy! We have both gone crazed in this isolation! We are both crazy! You are me! We are nothing alike, Echo. I am not a criminal unlike you. I am a follower of Christ himself, Jesus. That's where you're wrong. You're the Bible guy. Are we in hell? If so, where are the demons? Why are we in this house in the first place? Tell me. Why are we in this house? Tell me. The storm, remember? But why here? 
I came from the city. Why would I come out here? Why would I come to a fudged up house in the middle of nowhere? Why are you here? The storm, I guess. I felt like I was being chased by an invisible force of evil itself. Something truly sinister. Something more evil than any of us could ever imagine. I've had a similar feeling. You have? Yeah, and I honestly believe we're in hell. I can't be in hell. <sighs> I believe in Jesus. I'm a Christian. Maybe we're in the first round, pal. No, no, we can't be in hell. We're not even dead. How do we even know what being dead is like? We we could be dead. I, I don't even remember what we did before the storm. I just remember we, I was just standing letting the storm pour on me, um, dazed out or whatever. Until I found this place. That's also what happened to me. God, I have been praying to you my entire life. That has led to nothingness. Where are you? Is this a test of faith? Don't leave me! Don't go. I see you up there. I just want to hear your calling. Don't go. Hear my prayers. I know I'm not in hell, for I have believed in you in my entire life and will continue to do so. Please don't go. It can't be this hopeless. The one thing I remember from the Bible is that once you're in hell, God does not answer your prayers! We are in hell, and we are alone! We're alone! I refuse to believe that! God loves me. He has always answered my prayers. He has never failed me. He loves me, but he does not love you. Whatever you say. I know this is not the end. All right, confession time, old friend. We've been in this house for God knows how long and I'm starting to think we are in a spiritual realm. Think about it. The teleportating back in the house, that's just not normal. It's just not. So what I think is going on here is we need to confess our deepest, darkest secrets. And mine is I'm on the run for murder. That's why I'm here. I killed someone. I only have blink flashes of it, but I, I can't remember who or why. I just remember being very mad, and I felt like my life and everything I hold dear was in danger. Do you have any confessions to make, old friend? Remember Anna, California, murdered by a man in a clown mask? Yeah, I re of course I remember that. I told you all about it. Well, I just got something to say. Um... Oh, yeah? What was that? I would really like to not talk about it. It's very... It was me. It's not funny. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm serious. Why is your voice so muffled? Killed and raped her good. Stop, right now. I don't want to turn around and see what's... Grabbed her in the abdomen seven times. Licked Stop. the blood off the knife. Stop. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you for this.
Father, I'll forgive me, for I have sinned. I've murdered one of your children. His blood is now on my hands. What have I done? Oh, what have I done? I'm too far gone. I'm too far gone. I'm not the I'm not the sinner Gaka was! I didn't kill any Last for good measure!
Look at them together, Echo. One lovely couple they are. That unfaithful, ignorant slut. I'm going to kill the both of them for this. Hey! <laughs> Sir. Not much blood, but good. Good for that upcoming snowstorm. Sorry. 